everybody. Long time no see. Um, I've really been missing making beauty content lately. And so I decided, since I just got this Sephora order in the mail today, I would sit down and put it on to you guys about it. Um, also, pardon the appearance of the background. I'm currently redoing my room and we're in the process of doing that. It's another reason why I thought that this would be a good time to restart because very soon I'm going to have a very nice background and filming space. So let's get started. So what I have to try today, I have the Merit Minimalist Complexion Stick. I got the shade Dune and I'm kind of concerned about the color. Uh, well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and I got the Day Glow in the shade Soleil One Cava. And this is so pretty. I'm so excited to put this on. I also got the Kosas Bronzer. And this is the shade Wave, which I believe is the latest shade. Can't get this box open. Jeez. Like it's gonna be like color for me in person it looks a lot rosier which i like that sunburnt cheek look so i think i'm gonna go on with that color i also got the give beauty mascara this is gwen stefani's brand i needed a new mascara all of mine are kind of gross so i spent i think it was 100 points on this mascara it's impossible to get it out Um, I've heard some actually pretty good things about this mascara. It's supposed to be very lengthening and lifting, which is what I usually look for instead of more volumizing. So I think I'm actually going to go along with this very well, fairly well. And honestly, the mascaras last me as long as full size ones. You can only keep them for three months anyway, so works well enough for me. I also got the Colorado Dream Coat Extra Strength because I've been blowing out my hair recently. And I like it. I have a feeling it makes my hair a little sticky. This is my second bottle. Um, so I guess full review, full thoughts coming soon. Um, it's just hard because I have so much hair and it's so curly. I really want to saturate it. This bottle probably only lasts like five or six washes, which is why I don't use it for 10. So the complexion stick. I'm going to put my hair back. And when I got my hair done today, let me only think of the color. Um, and I did my skincare, put on sunscreen, and my brows before I went like three hours ago. So everything is very settled. So I'm wondering if I should put on another priming product quickly. Mm. I'm just going to put a little bit of the Okay. I was going to say, I'm going to put a little bit of the Ruffy primer on and Refi primer. And you just experience in real time why I don't <laughs> really like it. The applicator, what a great idea. Idea. In practice, what a mess. Like it just gushes out of the bottom and then you need to start rolling it to get dispersed but it always goes down the side like that and so i actually don't think it's a great way to put on product like yes it feels nice but then at this point i've run out and i'd have to like go back over here and get more go back over here and get more so i don't think i really like it um unfortunately i think it's a good enough primer um, it's that, um, semi-tacky and like I see it has a pretty natural finish. A little dewy, but nothing too crazy, which is I think why I think this is like good for this stick because, um, we'll be able to see the, the real texture of it. So I'm just going to pull my mirror up a little bit more. Um, so like I said, this is the shade Dune. And this is what 
the shade looks like on my hand. It's actually probably pretty peachy. Yeah, it looks really pink and I'm really pink. So the fact that this looks pink on me is kind of incredible. It also looks slightly too dark. I'm gonna compare it to the Kosas Concealer Shape 1.5. So you can see way lighter and it's making the Kosas look really yellow because of how peachy it is. And then I don't really have many blushing products. Um, let's do the This is Makeup Forever Reboot in the shade R208. Wow, <laughs> that's a crazy difference. So this is a great match for me in the winter, the Makeup Forever. This is the Merit Stick, this is the shade Dune, and then that is the Kosas Concealer in the shade 105. 105? 1 1.5 in the shade 1.5. Crazy, 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 crazy. Okay. Let's just keep going. This to be like a concealer foundation stick, so I'm gonna start putting some underneath my eyes, a little bit of my forehead and my chin. I'll just blend this out to primer my face again because I don't think I mean, it looks better on. But as you can see, it is really it is really peachy color. I'm gonna blend this out with my refer number four brush and just starting kind of in the perimeter of my face. I specifically didn't get the uh, blush that comes with or the brush that comes with the Merit foundation because I read this one and I thought they looked quite similar online. Yeah, so you can really see a line of demarcation from where I've already blended it to where I don't have any yet. It is not the right color. Um, at the very least, I'm gonna have to exchange it for a different color, I think. Um, it does look really nice and skin-like. I'm really enjoying the texture. I'm just going to take my hands and kind of just press it into the skin a little bit. It looks really good on my forehead. I often have trouble finding things that look really good on my forehead. My problem is, is the color. I just look really kind of sallow and almost yellow um, and compared to my neck. Yeah, I don't think Dune is my color. I remember when this first came out. I know I'm really late to the party on this, but when this first came out, um, I was working this for a time and I swatched it and I was the lightest shade, which I think is called Bone. But I thought it's the summer. I'm a little bit tanner. Maybe I would be a little bit further up. But alas, I'm not. Um, I'm hoping the bronzer will help to bring everything together. The finish is really pretty. If you like that no makeup makeup kind of thing, um, I'm gonna put a little bit more under my eyes actually because I would just prefer a little bit more coverage. It is incredible how I was able to do my entire face with what I've drawn originally and it is giving like pretty solid medium coverage. I'm using my fingers blend out I, I love using my fingers for concealer I know people are gonna yell at me about using my middle finger instead of my ring finger guys it doesn't matter <laughs> it just really doesn't matter um, maybe yes I'm using a little bit more pressure but it's essentially the same thing I actually really like it underneath my eyes like a lot more than I was expecting. 
and I know this light is like really nice. So hopefully, I mean, I look really good, not to my own horn, but it looks really good in person too. Again, it's just that color, man, it looks so yellow. Like compare it on my hand, like it looks like a blush shade. Like that's crazy the difference. It's crazy. Okay. So now, time for the bronzer. Only I have not really ever used bronzer. Like I have a tiny little sample of Laguna that I use. I'm where they use blush as bronzer type person generally. So let's see how this goes. Doesn't smell like crayon yet. Smells like dirt. Honestly, <laughs> smells like dirt. Okay, I'm just gonna take this gigantic, like, elf fluffy brush and. Hmm, not gonna come off. So I'm gonna start like here. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna talk about it to, to user error. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna say it's user, user. Um, I like the color, the color's really nice. Um, it is more sunburnt than bronzy on me anyway. I just got way too much on that brush, but I like the color. I probably won't put on blush today now because that was a lot now I got them. I gotta match it. <laughs> Guys, like I promise, like I'm usually doing the makeup. I thought I wouldn't have that much pigment, which is what I went in like a crazy person, but never blending one anymore. And like I can't even go up anymore. I have nowhere to blend up really. Put into the eyes, put into the eyes. Um at least I did a similar level of crazy on both sides. I'm just gonna take, oh my gosh, there's so much all out. To me, that's kind of insane for a bronzer, but I'm gonna take um, a slightly smaller brush. Again, this is just an elf blush brush, it's a little bit more of a tapered shape. Let's go put those. This is one of my favorite tricks, either doing this with blush or bronzer, whatever you're using. Just kind of connecting this outer eye area to the rest of your cheek product. Looks really pretty. It makes it look really seamless. So that's the bronzer. I really like the color. Um, it looks nice, like I don't see any Happiness, my blending skills have left something to be desired, but um, otherwise, I like it. I'm going to keep playing with it to see how I can get the best results <laughs> because clearly this wasn't ideal. I don't wipe the fallout off my table, but so far, it's so good. I like this. Uh, to finish the cheek look. Let's put on some highlighter. I'm, I'm very excited for this. It looks stunning. Like, come on, be beautiful. But let's see what it looks like on my cheeks. bit onto the apple of my cheek too. That's just kind of how I like to do my highlighter generally, but that looks really pretty. And it's not super tacky. Honestly, it doesn't feel very different than the rest of my face that has the foundation on it. It just feels like well moisturized skin, I would say. It doesn't feel too crazy. I'm gonna put a little bit of my eye. Obviously, a clip cream product. I'm expecting it to crease a little bit, but 
Let's give it a second, see if it does, but so far, like what can you say? It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful cream highlight and the color is gorgeous. I don't think it'd be universal. That kind of um, pearlescent uh, pigment is quite light. It really isn't a base though. It really is just those, those pigment particles that are quite light. So um, the flash would be, it's gonna get more intense on you than, um, the deeper of the complexion you have. And obviously I'm very, very pale because Dune looks like a blush. So, you know, context, <laughs> context, context, context. Finally, let's go in with this Give Gwen Stefani mascara. Let's see if she is giving. So a little context. I usually do lash lifts. I haven't done one in probably two and a half months. So it's basically gone now, but this is really pretty. Um, it's quite a natural finish. I don't notice anything crazy. I'm um, obviously compared to my bare lashes looks great. Um, and then this is one criticism I have that is probably mostly applicable to the mini um, because of the ball. You can't really utilize the entirety of this mascara wand because of this. So for instance, like if I'm trying to do this, it's really close, right? And I can't use the ball. It's too close to that side. So it's like, there's not enough bristles because of the ball to like actually completely coat your eye in one go, uh, which makes it um, slightly more fiddly, I would say, but probably just a learning curve on the application. Nothing deal breaking about it. Let's do the other. Okay, to get some mascara underneath, but again, use it or hopefully that time you're able to see. It just took a little bit more maneuvering because of the ball, but nothing crazy. Mascara under my eye. Beautiful. So, yeah. finish off the look with, you know, keeping the theme going. We're gonna use my Merit lip oil and taupe. And that's okay. Mine is a really pretty neutral color. Seems to go with everything. Gonna take the hair down and Let's do final thoughts. So, the foundation, really like the finish. The shade is just really wrong. So I'm gonna have to go back to Sephora and exchange it just because I feel like I can't really give it a fair shake with this color. Um, but the bronzer did help. The bronzer, again, <laughs> kind of opposite. Really pretty color. Um, I was really shed at applying it essentially. So let's see if it's, if I continue to use this product, if it's actually hard to use or if it was just me, cause I know like Lauren maybe loves this and she always makes it look so effortless in her application, but also she's a professional makeup artist and I'm not. So it could just be a me thing, but we shall see. And then the highlighting stick. I feel like I don't really have a lot to say about this cause the highlighting stick, like it's really pretty. Um, I guess the biggest thing I have to say is that it's not sticky. So we love that. I don't think my hair is going to come in it, but I guess I'll keep you updated. And then the mascara. The mascara is pretty. It doesn't look crazy. It almost honestly looks identical to what my lashes look like when I use um, the Benefit Bath Gal thing. So a, a lengthening, I would say, formula, but I'm not like, wow. Like I remember the first time I used the um, Marc Jacobs Val Noir mascara, like I oddly gasped. Or the first time I used the Tarte Tubing mascara, again, oddly gasped. And that just, I didn't oddly gasp, unfortunately. So it's good. Uh, I'll kind of comment if it uh, transfers or hurts my eyes or does anything funky, how it was to remove all that stuff, because this is only a first impression. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. This was really fun to do again. Hope you have a great rest of your day and your week. I'll see you soon.